As the group retrieves the torpedoes from the submarine, Spirit suddenly senses that the Reapers are coming. Gnome spots the Reapers and warns everyone. The movie begins with a man named Victor who has just woken up from sleep. As he groggily moves around, he notices a photo of him and a woman, but the woman's image isn't distinguishable. He also sees things around him deteriorating before mysteriously regenerating. Scared, he stumbles out of his place and sees a man who appears to be missing parts of his body. He scrambles out of his building and sees it's disintegrating as well. The buildings are tilted to the side, upside down, sideways, twisted, and connected by dark material. The areas appear connected, from Big Ben to the Burj Khalifa, but all are unnaturally standing upright. It's like a world where the laws of gravity and physics don't apply. He sees more physically deteriorating people but doesn't seem bothered by his presence. When he stares at one of the nearby disintegrating buildings, he unintentionally lifts his hands, and the building mysteriously starts to restore and returns to its original shape. He hears something and notices a dark monstrous figure from afar. The dark, grotesque figure spots him, runs to him, and is about to attack him, but two men and a woman save him. They run away before the creature catches them. They take him to a staircase, but it's a dead end, and one of the men pushes him off. He lands in a Chinese street market, and they continue running into a place that looks like Venice. The woman tells Victor to follow them as they jump to another building. He hesitates but sees the creature and manages to catch up with them. One of the men, Phantom, shoots the monster, but it consequently wounds his left palm. The creature catches up and corners them. One man sacrifices himself by exploding with the creature. Afterward, Victor asks the woman what happened and about where they are. The woman explains that he's in a coma and that they are in a world built from the memories of other comatose patients. The brain creates a field full of memories, switches off in a coma, and adapts to that world, similar to how a radio receives a signal. Everything they can remember is there, and what they do not remember does not exist there. They call the creatures, reapers. The woman, fly, can heal wounds and stops to heal Victor's cut. They go inside a bus, which is like a portal, as the other end of the bus leads them to their base. As they arrive, a woman approaches them and asks about Pilot, who sacrificed himself earlier. The woman scolds them for allowing him to do so. Phantom tells them what happened and defensively tells the woman, Spirit, that they could have done nothing since the district is dangerous. Afterward, Fly leads Victor to where he will be staying. Fly explains they break all the paths that arise around the building but someone always remembers, and they come back up. To stop the Reapers, they must be on high alert and take turns keeping watch. Yan says there's an entire island without Reapers, so they always look for people to help them find it. For some reason, Yan thinks that Victor can help them. Victor says he can't remember his name, and Fly explains nobody can either, which is why they have nicknames. Individuals can also dream in this world, manifesting in their bedrooms. She explains that Yan is their leader and has lived in that realm for a long time teaching everyone how to survive there. That night, Victor dreams about sketches, billboards, buildings, a hallway, and a car accident that must have caused him to fall into a coma. When Victor awakens, he sees that his dream has manifested in his room. He sees the car turned upside down inside his room. He approaches it and sees himself inside it. The wall of his room is now open, and he sees a building. Suddenly, Phantom arrives and warns him not to go there. Because he can get lost, and there will be no way out. Phantom threatens him to stay away from Fly, but Victor isn't phased. Phantom explains Yan sees something special about him but says Yan has made many mistakes before. Later, they test Victor to see what kind of abilities he possesses. Phantom explains that some people develop special, unique skills in a coma. Phantom points out their abilities, Spirit can sense the presence of Reapers and summon spirits. Link draws the routes and specializes in mapping. Pilot can locate living people in a coma, Fly can heal wounds, Gnome is the master mechanic, and Phantom has super strength. To discover one's abilities, they need a little push. The first test is that Victor has to catch the fired cannon bullet, he fails after a few tries. Next, he faces off against the machine built by the Gnome. The robot hits Victor several times, making him fall to the ground. Everyone watches as he tries to block the attacks from the machine, faint glowing lines appear over him, but they fade away quickly. Phantom asks about his profession in the real world, and Victor says he's an architect. They all then call him architect despite still not knowing his ability. Later that night, Victor has the same dream again, the same as the night before. However, he sees more details that indicate it's a hospital. The next day, he works with the others with no special abilities. His supervisor, Cable, says they have also failed the test but are lucky because they do not have to go out and risk themselves. 
Yan explains to Victor the time difference between the real world and the time under the coma. One day in the real world corresponds to several months. Yan claims he has been there for 15 years and asserts that people can survive for thousands more. Phantom, Fly, Spirit, Link, Tank, Gnome, and Cable prepare to go outside to acquire explosives from a torpedo in a submarine. With Yan's approval, Victor joins them despite Phantom's protests. On their way to the submarine, Link explains his theory that the dream space in their room stores information from what they have memorized in the real world. Suddenly, Spirit senses the Reapers close by, but Link assures them that the distance between them is a two-day journey. They explain to Victor that Reapers are braindead individuals, and they turn others into Reapers. The Reapers can sense humans through a particular signal they emit, which is why Gnome created the pipe, which attracts the Reapers to themselves, and they can blow them up. They soon arrive at the submarine port, where armed men from Cable's memories are. While waiting for Link's signal for an all-clear, Phantom gets impatient and throws a hand grenade at the guards. The explosion alerts the other guards, forcing the group to engage them in a firefight. Spirit also uses her abilities to assist Link in defeating the guards who shot at Tank. After they manage to take down all the guards, Link berates Phantom for his reckless behavior, which could attract Reapers. But Phantom arrogantly said he had the right to do so because he's the group leader. As the group retrieves the torpedoes from the submarine, Spirit suddenly senses that the Reapers are coming. Gnome spots the Reapers and warns everyone. Phantom orders everyone to retreat, but Cable insists on finishing the job since he almost got it. Phantom then orders everyone to run and leave Gnome and Cable. However, Victor doesn't listen and begs the others to help him and Gnome. Fly and Link return to help while Victor builds a ramp through his mind. The ramp catches the falling torpedo bringing it down to the group safely. The group then manages to get the explosives and return safely to their base. Later, they celebrate the mission's success. After learning about Victor's newfound abilities, Yan suggests that he build an entirely new island for them instead of one from their memories. He argues that a new place built from scratch, unattached from any memory, would be safe from the Reapers. Yan announces that they'll be leaving their base in the morning. He then appoints Link as the new squad leader due to Phantom's recklessness earlier. While everyone is asleep, Victor tries to create something with his mind but fails. Fly sees him and realizes that he hasn't yet learned to control his abilities, so she chastises him for agreeing with Yan that he can build the island. She gives him the idea that he must start with a blueprint, so he tries again. He starts thinking of it until it manifests and slowly becomes a model building. Fly inspects the model and asks him to see his memories. When they reach his room, Victor reveals what he remembers before he fell into a coma, he was in the car to meet with a potential client, but the meeting turned out to be a trap. Fly says she only has a few memories of her past, and she only remembers that she can't be with the person she wants to be with. She leans in to kiss Victor, to which he reciprocates. The next day, they lead the whole community to find the perfect place to build an ideal shelter. While Link explains their route, Phantom secretly takes one of the blue pipes, which can attract the Reapers, from Gnome's bag. Halfway through their journey, Spirit detects Reapers close by. They decide to split up, and Link tells Victor to go up the hill to find a different route. But Phantom deliberately follows Victor, and the Reapers are lured towards Victor due to the pipe. When the Reaper approaches Victor, Tank shoots Reaper, allowing them to escape. Phantom tackles Victor and grabs the blue pipe he put in Victor's jacket. Unfortunately for him, the team has figured out his plan. As Phantom explains what happened, they see his hand transforming into a Reaper's. Phantom runs away from all of them while more Reapers are approaching. The Reapers kill Gnome and Cable while the group continues to fight off the Reapers as the community runs for their lives. Phantom, realizing that his body is already falling apart, tries to call the attention of a Reaper using the pipe, but the creature ignores him. A light suddenly appears as they run from the Reapers, and Victor wakes from his coma. He begins to recall all the events leading to his coma. Fly, his girlfriend in the real world, drives him to meet his client. She doubts his client's intentions because of rumors of being a cult leader. She voices her concerns, but Victor insists that the job can allow him to build the city of his dreams. He is instructed to go in alone. Before he leaves the car, she gives him a taser just in case. The client's place is the same as his dreams. Then the man escorting him explains that it used to be a hospital. His client is Yan, who claims that his organization that enables innovations. He brings him to the basement where coma patients are lying. The coma patients were not actual patients but random individuals who were outcasts from society. He claims that in patients in a deep coma, their brain allows them to access a different world. Yan invites him since he knows that Victor is an architect, but Victor refuses Yan's request. So Yan's men grab Victor to put him to sleep. Luckily, the taser helped him escape from there. As Fly is driving, 
she doesn't focus on the road and causes them to collide with a truck. As a result, Yan and his men take Victor and fly to be treated at their facility. After Victor awakens from his unconsciousness, Yan tells him who they are. He reveals that the religious teachings were only a cover to help them raise funds for their operation. And their plan to give a new world to everyone through the project they are developing is real. Yan would only succeed with Victor's help to create a city safe from the Reapers. Yan also explains Phantom's memory has recovered. Still, he wants to stay in his coma to avoid dealing with the realities of life in the real world. Yan will let them go in exchange for Victor to build the island and the city. Victor decides to enter a coma to save Fly. Afterward, Victor wakes up again in his apartment. Meanwhile, Fly and the others are starting to give up. Before the Reapers attack, Victor arrives and takes them to where he will build the city. Once they arrive, Victor uses his abilities and creates a magnificent city. Victor soon finishes and asks Yan to let them go, but he reveals their lives in the waking world. Spirit, who turns out to be from a mental institution, suffers from frequent hallucinations and convulsions, she has no family and has recently lost her only child. Tank is a depressed hermit after losing his family in an accident because of his drunkenness. Link is autistic and taken care of by his very old parents. Victor's architectural designs are beautiful but unrealistic, and no one wants them, even his girlfriend, Fly. Spirit, Link, and Tank decide to stay. However, Yan won't let them, as they know everything, he won't let them live with the others. Suddenly, Tank's body begins to disintegrate. Yan's men have cut off their oxygen supply in the real world. They try to fight back, but their efforts are in vain. Victor then tells them they must first find their actual bodies in the dream world if they want to wake up in the real world. Spirit stays as the others return to the base and enter the dream inside Victor's room. Inside the hospital, they are having difficulty navigating it. The dream world has changed because everything in it has been connected to people's memories in a coma. Link encourages Victor to remember any details leading to his coma room, which leads them outside. Soon, Link's body fades away. They encounter Yan, who is already waiting for them, and he blocks Fly and Victor from finding their bodies. However, by chance, Phantom, who has transformed into a Reaper, comes to help Victor and Fly by attacking Yan. A few moments later, Victor finally wakes up from his coma and sees Fly still unconscious. He then tries to wake her up. Yan's men arrive in the ward, only to find that Yan has passed away, and they don't stop the couple from leaving. The movie ends with Victor's architectural designs being modern and realistic. However, Fly encourages him to go back to his previous style. The couple learns there will be no charges against Yan's institution due to a lack of evidence against them, but Fly worries if Yan's group will ever come after them. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this to help the channel out. Have a nice day.